NDP5. And it says here, if adopted PV5, if adopted PV5, NDP6, and NDP7 cannot be moved, just for your note. So, uh, Mr. Davies, would you like to? Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, th this amendment deals with the punishment sections over uh, the distribution offenses, which are in Section 9. So, Section 9 um, prohibits an individual who is 18 years of age or older to uh, distribute cannabis um, to more than of more than 30 grams, or to distribute cannabis to an individual who is under 18 years of age or to distribute cannabis to an organization, or to distribute cannabis that they know is illicit cannabis. It's also an offense for a young person uh, to distribute cannabis um, more than five grams of dried cannabis, um, or for an individual to distribute one or more cannabis plants that are budding or flowering, or to dis distribute more than four cannabis plants that are not budding or flowering. And so the section that I'm going to propose we amend has to do with the punishment for the violations of those sections. And um, what I propose to do is I have um, consistently so far as to replace the criminal penalties with monetary fines or at least to put limited criminal sanctions to narrow circumstances and to make the maximum penalty uh, no more than two years less a day. Um, as we all know, two years less a day subjects a person to uh, incarceration in a provincial institution, not a federal one. Um, basically, um, uh, I think that the rationale that I would have for this is similar to what I've already expressed, so I won't belabor the point, but I would just again um, point out that making it a criminal offense for, say, a 19-year-old to distribute cannabis to a 17-year-old or in the case of a young person who has more than five grams to su subject them to criminal provisions which are under the, um, the, um, What's the, act called? the Youth Criminal Justice Act, thank you, um, maintains a criminalized approach to cannabis that we know doesn't work and that we know will cause more harm than the cannabis itself. So I'm going to, uh, this amendment would, um, re uh, would replace lines 20 and 21 with uh, fines of not more than $300,000 or imprisonment for a term of not more than two years less a day or both. That's for the most serious repetitive crime. And then replacing uh, for the most common offenses and infractions that we'll see for a first offense to a fine of not more than $3,000 and for any subsequent offense to a fine of not more than $50,000. And then the second, the same approach for um, lines 9 to 12, a first offense of a fine of $3,000 and a subsequent offense not more than $50,000 so that there's no, penal there's no criminal penalty or jailing of people for offending these except in the most serious case or in the most repetitive case. Mr. Van Kester. Thank you, Chair. And I wonder if we could just ask the, um, the officials if, if they could give us uh, currently, what what is the the punishment for uh, selling? Um, well, I guess it wouldn't be in, in place. But do any of these? Uh, I, I guess I want to compare this to what we currently have on the books for possession. What we currently have on the books for selling to a minor. Uh, I, I suspect whether or not there is even any legislation that, that, that would follow that. But if, if you could just give us, a lot of this looks pretty extreme. Is, is this, is this in, in line with what, what the, the current laws uh, have on the books, Mr. Mr. Dennis? Um, I, th I think I may be able to assist you on this. Uh, currently, there's, there's no breakdown of uh, or a distinction made between distribution and, and selling. We, we have a, a, in the CDSA a, a, a generic trafficking offense, which includes uh, the distribution and includes selling. And those, those penalties uh, are, are high. They're uh, life uh, maximum. Uh, and uh, in, in, in amounts that are over three kilograms or more, 
uh, and for three, or rather over three kilograms, three, kilogram, three kilograms or less, the penalty is uh, five years less a day. And those are the presently the, the range of, of penalties that are available for trafficking in cannabis. Okay, Mr. Oliver. Thank you, and uh, I did want to thank my colleague for the for his comments, and I'm somewhat sympathetic to it. I do have to come back to the stated purpose of the bill, which is to deter criminal activity by imposing serious criminal penalties. I think these amendments actually thwart that purpose of the bill by restricting, they restrict the court's ability to deal more appropriately with cases involving individuals who distribute or possess for purpose of distribution serious quantities of cannabis, and I think this allows the courts to then act accordingly. So I, I wouldn't support the amendment. Okay, seeing no further speakers, I'm going to call for a vote. Uh, all in favor? Have a recorded vote, Mr. Chair, please. Shortly. Monsieur Ayou? No. Mr. Yolson? No. Mr. McKinnon? No. Mr. Oliver? No. Ms. Sidhu? Ms. Gladu? No. Mr. Van Kesteren? Mr. Weber? Mr. Davies? Yes. Yes pour one, un, nays count eight, huit. I <coughs> declare the motion defeated, or the amendment defeated.